If you like this video, please leave a comment on YouTube or like this post on Tumblr. Hi, I'm Arwen17, yet another worshipper of the Evil Queen, aka an Evil Regal. And I'm also supportive of Swan Queen. I decided it would be um, easier to make a video of this magazine instead of trying to scan in every single page because number one, I don't have the time, and number two, I don't want to destroy the spine of this magazine. Um, I bought this magazine today at Barnes & Noble for $14.99. So it's very nice and hopefully this video will inspire you to buy the magazine if you're able to. Um, I believe this magazine has only been released in the UK and the US, so if you're in another country, I'm sorry. Um, you're going to have to find someone else to bribe you and send you a copy. Um, I'm sure eventually this will appear on eBay, so it would be good to check the sites like those. And it, it is made by Titan, and it's like titanmagazines.com if that helps you find it online in any way. Um, I haven't had a chance to read through the entire thing yet, but the pictures are very pretty. So I'm going to briefly walk you through this magazine. And it's definitely going to have a focus on Regina since she's the only reason I watch the show anymore. Apparently, it says right in here, we are going to have another issue soon. And I think this magazine focuses on season one, whereas the issue two will focus on season two. The a little editor's letter in the front. It has several uh, cast interviews here. So we got like Jennifer Morrison, Lana Perilla, Jared Gilmore, Ian Bailey, uh, Jiminy Cricket, Megan Ori, which is Little Red Riding Hood, uh, Mad Hatter, and then that's Dr. Whale. And then it has like a little thing over every single episode in season one with little fun facts and tidbits and trivia. Picture, awesome picture of Regina. All the pictures in here are good, but yeah, Regina just rules all. Let's see, um, that's from the producers. A little interview with them, and then the writers, stunts, cinematography, Jane Espenson, costuming, uh, the visual effects, hair and makeup, special effects makeup, and the production design. So it's got it all. This is the producer's interview up here in the front. This is Who's Who in Storybrooke, so I guess if you don't watch the show or if you've forgotten to remind you who everyone is. This is the Emma Swan interview with Jennifer Morrison. It's got some really good pictures of her. And then this is Jared Gilmore, Henry Mills interview. Hopefully someone will eventually be kind enough to scan all this in, but this is a lot of pages. It's better to just buy the magazine. Ah, my favorite page. It's good to be bad. Hell yes. And if I'm moving too fast, you can always pause the video if you want to try and attempt to read anything. Trying to keep it from glaring. A lot of these pictures and stuff we've already seen. There's a few good ones. Oh, my favorite. This one is awesome. This is a stunts. Okay, this is talking about the stunts. And 
It's going to take a while to read through all of this. Uh. <laughs> Director of Photography interview. Ian Bailey, Pinocchio interview. This is Jane Espenson interview. Costumes. So we got a lot of costume drawings for everyone. Jimmy Cricket interview. And this is all the special effects, the visual magic. Megan Ori, Little Red Riding Hood interview. Three leading ladies. I really like this picture. This is hair and makeup. This is his Mad Hatter's interview. I like how they put Swan Queen on the cover, and then I have all these pictures in here with Emma with guys. <laughs> Ew, creature features, special effects. Like they might be talking about how they make the heart glow. Uh, Dr. Well interview. This is production design feature. Showing all the digital effects. Season one, the episodes. So this is the episode guide. They're gonna they offer little trivia and tidbits about each episode.
I'll assume they'll do that with issue two. It'll be season one. Or this is season one and issue two will be season two. That's the end of it. They just have a advertisement for more of their magazines on the back. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek into this magazine, and I hope it convinces you to buy it. I think going to a bookstore like Barnes & Noble or whatever is going to be a better option, but you might find it in Walmart or something in the magazine section. And if you're not in the UK or US, then glue yourself to eBay or find a really nice fan or wait for someone to scan the images in. And good luck on your hunt. I hope you find it.